Okay, here on this Debaco University video, I'm going to discuss heating options for a cannabis grow facility, because many of the times lights do produce heat, but in particularly northern climates, uh, we need to be aware of ways to heat that facility so that we're maintaining a normal uh, plant growing in supportive environment for our cannabis plants. All right, let's look into some heating options for a cannabis grow facility. Well, keep in mind, uh, object or goal number one is to keep the plants happy. Cannabis plants typically prefer temperatures in the 70s in Fahrenheit, 20 to 25 degrees Celsius, which often means if a grower is going to grow all year, heating system is usually a necessity. Uh, so this is why it's important to look at and address how you're going to heat your grow facility. So keep in mind that lights do produce heat and that is a byproduct of the lights. So the heat that the lights should be taken into consideration. This may allow you to downsize your heating operation, but a lot of times still an external heat source is required. You also have to think about during the dark period of lighting, may need to help maintain warm conditions for the plants when those lights are off in the flower period you know, be off for those 12 hours. So when we're looking at what heating options there are, these are the four main types that will be covered in this video here. We're looking at electric heat, oil heat, wood heat, and propane. So we'll look at some of the advantages and disadvantages of each here so you can get a better understanding of how they compare to one another. So starting first with electric heat. The advantage is, is it's instant. Basically, it comes right on and immediately starts heating up. It offers very precise control. You can have a thermostat that really can regulate electric heat very precisely. However, the disadvantages to electric heat is that it tends to be expensive and can require circuit setups that might be beyond the means of what is normal for a facility. You might have to redo a lot of electrical work, which might cost time, might cost uh, money, uh, and might not be possible depending on the area you're located. Then there is oil heat, and the advantage is, is that you can store it in large quantities. You can have tanks. Uh, it's very easy to get, it's readily available. However, the disadvantage is, is that it does require uh, maintenance, uh, and you need to have a tank and a, way, and a place to store that tank safely. So for you know, oil heat, there are some pros. You can have that reserve, uh, so you, you know what you have as far as quantities go, but you do have to maintain the equipment and have to have a place to store that tank as well. Then there's wood heat. So the advantage of heating a grow facility with wood is it can be less ex a less expensive form of heat, and it also can be a very reliable heat source. The disadvantage is that I call it, it's a dirty heat, and there's a lot of soot and ash that can develop as a byproduct of burning wood. And sometimes it needs to be fed manually in, say, for example, of a wood stove. So while that wood may be easy to get, it does require that manual feeding process. And there's a last type that I do want to mention here, and that's propane heat. And this is one that has advantages because it can be used as a carbon dioxide uh, enrichment source. It's very clean in burning, but the disadvantage is that it's often limited storage options, can be expensive, especially when needed the most. Usually high points of demand can be difficult to get and or expensive to get. So you want to be considering the advantages and disadvantages of each of these heat sources, make a selection, and look at the channel here for more details on whatever heat source you're choosing to heat your grow facility.